Hi, thanks for choosing Decorating Magic. Today I want to show you how to achieve a chipped paint effect. Before we get started, I want to show you a close-up of a completed project so you can see the effect we're after. As you can see, there are large areas of the bottom color showing through as if the top color has chipped away. You might be surprised about what product I use to get this effect. It's Vaseline or petroleum jelly. I'm going to demonstrate on a practice board. As you can see, I've already painted the bottom color. Now you can use latex paint, chalk paint, mud paint, milk paint for this technique. Just make sure the sheen is flat or matte. It won't work if you use satin, eggshell, semi-gloss or gloss. Also, this technique works best if the bottom coat is darker than the top. Okay, so I'm just going to take my finger and spread the petroleum jelly in thin layers and sort of random areas of my practice board. Okay, here we go. So I've got kind of a glob and I'm going to smear it in thin layers. You don't want it too thick because then the paint won't cover it. I'm going to do a few different areas. Don't get it too thin though. So you just kind of have to practice. Faux painting is all a chemical reaction. Sometimes you get what you want and sometimes you don't. But I think that's about right. And now we are going to apply the top layer. Okay, I'm just using another flat white paint. We're going to paint right over the jelly. You might have to use two coats. Now, if you wanted to use more than one color, you could do this over and over. Like you could put, you know, wait for this white paint to dry, wipe it off, reveal the blue, and then repeat the process with another color. But for today, we're just going to use two colors. Okay, we've got pretty good coverage. Now what we have to do is just wait for it to dry and then wipe it off. And we may have to do a little sanding. Okay, the top coat has dried and as you can see, there's already areas where we applied the petroleum jelly. It's already revealing the bottom coat. And what we're gonna do is take a dry paper towel and just wipe and it should reveal larger areas making it look like chip paint. Okay, let's just do it. Okay, got a dry paper towel. Sometimes you have to rub a little bit. But you can see it's kind of coming off. You have to work it a little bit. Sometimes you need to use some sandpaper. There we go, there's a big chip. That might be all we get out of this area. I'm gonna go down here. Again, faux painting is a chemical reaction. You never exactly know what's gonna happen. There's so many things that variables, humidity, temperature. All right, let's take some sandpaper to these areas where it didn't really chip very well. Okay, I'm using a coarse grit 60. Okay, just gonna kind of lightly dip. You see, there we get more. Do it around the edges. And you can kind of control how much you want to see and how little or how little. You can distress it as much or as little as you like. But that's really all there is to it. There you go. That's about it. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a dark wax or an antique glaze to your piece after it's dried to deepen the effect, but it's not necessary. You will have to seal your piece though because we used flat paint. Um, you can use either polyacrylic or one of the specialty waxes. Well, thank you for watching Decorating Magic and please subscribe to my channel.